Welcome back. This is National Geographic Weekend. I'm Boyd Matson. We're actually outside the offices of National Geographic in what is our little courtyard area because we have the latest, the newest device from the remote imaging department that builds all these extraordinary cameras. Uh, Graham Wilhelm has now come up with something to get us above the ground. You've taken us to the bottom of the sea. Now you're going to take us up in the air with a new helicopter. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for having me. You have built a helicopter that will carry a video camera, a still camera, and take pictures. Yeah, there was a, a need within the society, especially within the television production groups, to get a stable aerial platform for shoots that didn't necessarily have the budget or the resources to get aerial shots you know, from a helicopter. So. To get an overview, what's amazing, folks, is that Graham essentially went down to the hobby store and just started picking out parts and built his own helicopter, but it doesn't look like the helicopter with the single rotor blade and a little tail rotor. This has got uh, four posts coming out from it, and the blades are on, essentially on four corners, but there's a blade on the top and mm -hmm. the bottom, so it's eight blades. And we're going to see if we can do something really difficult. If you can fly this helicopter and talk at the same time, Graham. Okay. And you're listening to National Geographic Weekend. We are going to test the newest invention from National Geographic. All right. It's fired up. I don't know if you can hear this, so I'll give it a listen. Sounds a little like a giant fan. And it's lifting up very steady. Oh, this is good. Hey, there's some people over to the right. Get a picture of those, will you, Grant? The blades are now coming in to give me a haircut. I think let's go the other direction. <laughs> ah, that's a spawn. It's hovering about, oh, eight, nine feet in the air right now. It's right over our heads. Seriously, see if you can move her over to those people watching and get a picture of them that we can see. In fact, just go over and scare that lady, if you will. Send the helicopter right over to her. <laughs> and this is the aerial view of uh, National Geographic, which we're going to put up on the website. People are enthralled by this. It's amazing. This but, is, uh, it's sort of a crowd pleaser. <laughs> we can hardly wait to take this out in the field and try it. Grant, thanks very much for giving us the first view, uh, and we'll put it up on the website, the first view anybody is going to have in the public of this latest invention from the National Geographic uh, Remote Imaging Lab. So I guess I'm going to have to let you land this so you can continue to talk to us here on yeah, the radio. Yeah. I want to see how the landing goes. Yeah. It's a safe landing. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty good. Not quite greased it, but, you know, pretty <laughs> decent.